There it is, people. The end of the first Bioshock. Wow. Awesome freaking game. Surprised I didn't play it. I didn't complete it before. Um, this is a really, really good game. Um, so yeah, uh, what did I think of this game? Um, I think it was freaking spectacular. Um, it's really good. Now I was playing the, um, I was playing the collection, so I don't know if it's similar to. Again, I didn't play the original. Um, I did, but it's a long time ago. I don't, I don't remember the graphics that well. Um, it, they looked very similar, but I don't know if they remastered with the collection. But the graphics look awesome. They look beyond amazing. Even after what thirteen years now since this game was released. So freaking good um, in terms of look. The controls to me were awesome. Um, and if I can compare this to like Metro, for example, if I played, because um, I played the uh, reduxed versions of Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, where Re Redux is... Uh, Metro 2033 in the graphics and with the controls of Metro Last Light. And even then, there were some issues with the controls, and it didn't feel as if some things fit. But in this case, I've been playing with an Xbox controller. And unlike a lot of these older games, even Witcher 3, which is a spectacular game, I had to get used to the controls. And for this particular game, I didn't have to. Um, it, w it came very easily. Um, I barely needed the tutorial to tell me what, where, like just enough to tell me where, where's what? And that's it. Um, really freaking awesome. Um, the story is engaging without feeling dragged on. Again, I didn't play 2 and I didn't play Infinite, so that's going to come eventually. But it seems that this game was a perfect um, you know, first-person adventure game. A little bit of puzzles here and there. Um, very linear, but... It was fun because um, it was like you're playing in a movie and I was really intrigued by it and I was really um, impressed by it. So um, I think um, it's it's really worth the pickup. Um, if you, um, again, too many players, this is the first on the list. A lot of people will differentiate, will, will say, no, the worst game could be the second one, could be infinite. Um, it really depends who you ask. However, where there, no one has contested anything is the fact that Bioshock is number one. Um, it's there, and it's just the way it's supposed to go. Um, so I'm, I'm, really, um, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I didn't expect it to like it as much. I know other people have said, oh, this is a amazing, this is awesome. But I didn't expect to like it as much. And to be honest, I really did fall in love with this world, with the idea of the rapture, a city under the sea. Um, it's original. Um, would we see something like this nowadays? I don't know. Um, and I'm... Uh, this is actually a pretty good segue to the next full game that I'm going to be playing, which is the Outer Worlds. And the reason I'm saying that is there's a lot of, in Bioshock, there's a lot of things that make you, remind you, remind you of Fallout. And I said that about Metro, and I know I keep, <laughs> I say that a lot about games. But in this case, it really did feel like it was a Fallout game in a sense that of the feel and the ambiance, the music, um... It felt that way um, in a lot of ways. Um, I'm not saying it was open world of any kind or any of that sort, but it was really cool to see um, how um, how the world would, 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 would go. And again, it's, it's one of those things where it's an apocalyptic point of view. Um, there's a city under the world, the wa um, underwater, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, but there's elements of that at the beginning, especially at the beginning. I was like, wow, this feels like a linear version of Fallout. If Fallout was a linear game, it would fall under the Bioshock banner. And kind of the way, the reason why I'm saying that is the next game I'm going to play is Outer Wi Worlds, not Outer, Outer Wilds, which is another game. Which is from the creators of New Vegas and the first two Fallouts. And, um, and the reviews so far, from what I can see, have been pretty positive. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing um, Outer Worlds and see where it takes us. Um, sorry for yawning so much. Um, I shouldn't be tired. I slept like I took a two-hour nap this afternoon. So <laughs> it shouldn't be that. that uh... All right. So um, that's it for the stream right now. I actually finished Bioshock, which is cool. Um, I have to do some stuff. I may be back again later tonight. Wasteland, I haven't... Um, I will check out your stream with Kalos. Um, I always love those streams. For those of you who are watching and just lurking, uh, Wasteland um, does these... Um, she usually streams by herself, but there's times where she does stream with Kalos. And they play multiplayer games. They played Life or Dead, I think, together. Um, they are play right now they're playing 76, so... Uh, check out their channels, um, really awesome, um, really awesome streamers, you guys should check them out, uh, really entertaining, and, um, on that note, I hope to see you guys a little bit later, I will be back in about an hour, oh, you know what, stream when you can, um, it just happened that when you went live, I literally went live, like, five seconds later, so, <laughs> it's, it, it, it was like right before I went online, so I streamed, or else I would have caught your stream. Um, when I can, I try to ca catch it live, uh, for sure. Uh, I watch your past broadcast, or I watch your broadcast that you upload to, to uh, YouTube, not Facebook. <laughs> oh, no problems, my pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you on my stream and chatting it up, and uh, I'm glad that I was your companion um, at work, and I shall be, I'll try and be on a little bit later. I don't know what I'm going to be playing, but I may be playing either continuing some Wolfenstein 3D or playing some um, original Doom. We'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, have a good one. Until next time.